Hi, I'm Marilee Mostel from the Bainbridge Island Historical Museum. On today's episode of The Curious Curator, I'm here at the Old Kura Barn to chat with Kim and Stephen Screen, who recently finished a multi-year renovation of the building. I'm eager to look inside. Can you start by telling me a little bit about the history of this building? Yeah, so this is the Kura Family Strawberry Farm Barn. Uh, it was built in 1950 uh, by Art Kura and his wife, Florence. Florence. And this has been sort of sitting here ever since, used for lots of different purposes, but it's uh, a pretty historical part of the island because strawberries were such a big part in the middle of the 1900s. So. And how did you two get involved with this barn? <laughs> We were looking for a house and we looked at a house that was for sale two uh, doors up and then we were walking down the street and I looked at this barn and said, I would buy that <laughs> and we did. So we're inside the barn now and it looks pretty rustic to me. So Kim, I'm curious, did you imagine living in it like this in this rustic state? We did not imagine living in the barn. Um, we um, imagined a house next to the barn and then keeping the barn as a space for play and gathering and for Stephen to work in um, and trying to keep this as much as it is as possible. So we wanted to see it Really, we wanted to kind of see it shine. That was kind of my thing. As we walked by and when I first saw it, it just sort of, to me, seemed like it needed some life breathed into it. The outside really needed some care. It needed yeah. paint, it needed a yeah. new roof, it needed all new windows, most of the doors needed to be restored. So all of that work needed to be done. And we did very little on the inside other than clean it up. What are some other changes you made to it? Uh, so there were six rooms along the south end of the south side of the barn that were uh, living quarters for migrant workers that would come here during the uh, strawberry harvesting season. And three of the six rooms still look much as they did. Uh, I mean, they're not furnished anymore, but uh, they are still the bunk rooms. What's your favorite part of the renovation? Um... I love, I love this space right here. This is, um, I imagine uh, when this was a working barn, that this was the place where they had lots of tools and were um, restoring and fixing the tractors or storing the baskets for the strawberries. Um, but we um, sanded it down and got rid of kind of layers of oil and dirt and grime. Also, I love the loft too. The loft is magical, I think. Yep. Uh, there's um, a, a stair that is, um, you have to be careful going up it. But there's beautiful rafters and we installed new windows up there so there's natural light. Well, I mean, so the, the foundation that we're standing on, uh, concrete, it's supposedly three feet thick. It is a massive, heavy slab of a foundation. The concrete foundation. Um, is probably the reason why the barn is still standing in, in pretty good shape. Many barns, if they're kind of um, wood floor or wood foundation, it's harder for them to survive through the years. Do either of you have experience, either your work experience or any training in restoration? So Mike Brundage, who lives on the island and was actually recommended through the state's website for preservation carpenters. So we brought him in and he was the one driving it and helping us know um, what to do because there is a lot of decisions about what kind of windows they need to be historically accurate and what do you do about holes in the barn? How do you cover those up appropriately? Um, how do you create new siding that matches all that stuff? So he was the driver. That and was great. At it. it was amazing. Did a fantastic job. He did a couple things to the barn that look like they have always been there. They are fixes that needed to be done and he made it look like it was done in the 50s. The main reason that we were able to renovate the barn is because um, we applied for and received a grant from the state, um, from the Department of Archaeological and Historical Preservation. We applied for, it's specifically a barn grant they're given every two years. 
Uh, and it's pretty competitive and we're the first barn on the island to have received the grant and we were really pleasantly surprised to have received it yeah. um, and so it's matching funds so we came in with half the funds and they provided half the funds as part of that process we also uh, became listed in the state um, historic register the barn register um, and we have uh, nominated ourselves for listing in the local language island as well. the end of all of this process, um, we had a change in our family plans. We have sold this barn uh, and we are buying this family home instead. We feel proud to have helped yeah, restore this spot and the new owners um, are equally excited to steward it to its next phase of life. So. Thank you, Kim and Stephen, for showing us around the barn and congratulations on completing this wonderful project for Bainbridge Island. You're welcome. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Thanks.